Okay, moving on to exercise 13 9 on page 767. Uh, here we're dealing with uh, some gift cards. I, I like this chapter a lot, you guys. I hope you're enjoying it. It's just a lot of different uh, ways that current liabilities could come under the come into the picture for a business. Uh, here we have Circuit Town commenced a gift card program in January 2016 and sold $10,000 of gift cards in January, $15,000 of gift cards in February and sixteen thousand dollars of gift cards in march of 2016 before discontinuing further gift card sales during 2016 gift card redemptions were six thousand for the mark for the january gift card sold 4500 for the february cards and four thousand for the march cards circuit town considers the gift cards to be broken or not redeemable meaning they expire 10 months after the sale at that point, if they had not been used, that uh, liability for the gift cards would become revenue for Circuit Town. Okay, number one, how much revenue will Circuit Town recognize with respect to January gift card sales during 2016? Well, you guys, uh, for January, they'll recognize the full 10000 Let's go through the breakdown. This is requirement one. Okay, so for number one, We'll say the entire $10,000 of gift cards sold in January will be recognized as revenue in 2016. Now let's go through why. Here's your breakdown. Of that $10,000, $6,000 of the gift cards were redeemed in 2016. So of course they would be counted as revenue. We debit the liability account and credit uh, sales. And then also, $4,000 of the gift cards were forfeited in 2016 from January sales. They're no good 10 months after the sale. Well, if the sale's made in January, then 10 months later would be, would, would be November. So those uh, $4,000 of gift cards that did not get used by November expired in 2016. So we would uh, count those as revenue in 2016 as well. So the entire $10,000 of gift cards sold in January will be counted as revenue in 2016. $6,000 that were redeemed, $4,000 that were forfeited. Okay, in requirement two, it says prepare journal entries to record the sale of the January gift cards, the redemption of the gift cards, ignoring sales taxes, and the breakage or expiration, I call it forfeiture, of the gift cards. Okay, uh, expiration is probably the better term. Okay, so first, they just want the entries for January. So we're going to debit cash for the ones that we sold. We sold $10,000. And then that creates a liability for us. guys it's a deferred we'll call it deferred gift card revenue in other texts you've seen unearned revenues this textbook is calling those deferred revenues same thing and um, that's going to be ten thousand for us we'll call it deferred revenue because it is revenue for us as soon as someone uses the gift card or as soon as those gift cards expire okay now also in january um or during 2016 gift cards redemption for the January gift cards were 6000 They want that entry as well. All the entries to deal dealing with January. So here for the redemptions we'll debit deferred gift card revenue for 6000 And we're going to credit cash. for 6000 Okay, now for the ones that were forfeited, probably expired would be the better term to use. We'll debit deferred gift card revenue again for 4000 Remove the liability from the books. The account to credit is revenue 
sale. Uh, or we could just put revenue gift cards. Okay, that takes care of requirement two. Requirement three, how much revenue will Circuit Town recognize with respect to March gift card sales during 2016? Okay, on requirement three, of the $16,000 of gift cards sold in March, 4000 will be recognized as revenue because the cards were redeemed in 2016. The remaining 12000 will not be recognized in, as revenue in 2016 because not only were they not redeemed, they didn't expire in 2016 either. They won't begin expiring until January 2017. So number four, or requirement four, what liability for deferred revenue associated with gift card sales would Circuit Town show as of December 31, 2016? Well, we know the balance from March would be twelve thousand. Let's think about February. The one sold in February would expire in March, April. Okay, all the ones sold in February would expire in December two thousand sixteen. So the ones from February would all be recognized as revenue in two thousand sixteen as well, because they would have either been redeemed or they would have expired uh in December that year. Okay, so the only ones left in the uh, liability account, deferred gift card revenue, would be the $12,000 from the uh, March gift cards. So number four, uh, what liability would we have on the books associated with this problem? Well, the only liability on December 31, 2016 would be the $12,000 balance in the deferred gift card revenue account uh, from March gift cards that have not expired by the fiscal year end. Okay, you guys, uh, after working that one with me, I don't think you'll have any problems with the exercise 13.9 on the uh, Connect Plus site. Uh, good luck with that, and if you have any uh, questions or concerns, please be in touch. Thanks a lot.